Hey everyone, um, we are taking a little break from Sonic the Hedgehog, so Jeff has decided I'm going to be tortured. We're playing Mario Maker. Uh, no specific level this time, I'm just gonna tell her to scroll through random levels. Kinda wants to hate us. I'm gonna hate my life and I'm gonna hate you even more. Da derp. That's the guy's Miiverse name, apparently. C-H-O... Choose your character. Oh, choose your character, huh? That's what it says. How do you choose your character? Oh, I guess I... you just go down a random pipe? I guess so. Pick your poison. Ah, you're Link. God damn it! Well, you were Link. For a short period of time, Mario got to have an exciting life. You got the key. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Why? This level doesn't seem that hard. Look at that. You're already at the end. Too easy. I agree. Yeah, that was kind of easy. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Thought it was gonna get harder. Oh my god. But you know, hey, that was kind of interesting. I wouldn't mind checking out some of the other guys. It was a, a little creative, at least. Yeah, it's something different. Let's see what other levels we can get you to play. Just just pick one, and <laughs> you pick something difficult, and I'm going to come over there and kick you. <laughs> Yay! Scroll down. Let's see what else there is. Uh, no. About, no, Bowser's French Castle. No. How, how about Walk the Plank, oh, then? Wrong one. There you go, Walk the Plank. Dude, I'm gonna probably end up punching you. Won't you won't do Bowser's French Castle. Was. Pitonvu. vous. Mailday tet. Ah, it's done in the new Super Mario Brothers style. And Jeff doesn't realize I've just sworn at, sworn at him very fluently in French. Jeff actually is French, so. Yeah, well, Julie took French for a couple of years. What the fuck? I can't get. Jump, jump from a distance. You have to jump from a distance. But I would recommend killing the. Bowser Jr. First. Oh no, no, I would have never guessed. There you go. Nope, he's not dead yet. Maybe he can't die. Apparently he can't hit you down there except for with those hammers. So let's hope he doesn't get you. Ah, fuck! <laughs> was that your own fireball that was coming at you? Oh, you got him! Oh, and I get this. Neat. You should collect those other two red coins, though. Oh. Not that it really makes a huge difference if you oh, got them or not. Oh, I have this neat thingy. It'll stay with you, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, there's a, another key. You got two keys, see? So maybe you did need to get those. Shit, shit, shit. You can fly straight up. Oh, you pro you're probably going to have to ditch that thing. No, I don't want to! But look! Oh wait, maybe you can't. Maybe you don't have to. Okay, there's the door. You do have to ditch it for the door. The fuck? <laughs> Please give me more fire. Firepower. <laughs> Got to get those bombs. Get the fuck out of here! 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 Run. No, I would have never <laughs> guessed. Oh my god, that's terrible. Yoshi, save me! Yoshi, move your fucking ass! <laughs> Yoshi almost moved his ass right off of... Oh, there's no clap. Okay. Lucky for you. Love you. And my boyfriend is... Oh, no! You used your key. No! I climbed the castle. I'm so fucked. <laughs> you just came out right into it. Dry, dry bones thing. I hate you. <laughs> oh, now I gotta do this shit again. What I what I don't understand here is he put the Mario continue flag at the beginning of the level. So the checkpoint of the level is where you start to begin with. I don't understand that. But I gotta admit, this is a, a nice level design. I like it. Yeah, you play it instead. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Watch out for the hammers. Again, no shit. Oh, you got him. And you got a couple of keys. 
I guess you gotta use those keys sparingly. Be careful what you use them on. <laughs> this is why I'm not allowed to drive. Nothing up there, dang. I'm gonna die. I can feel it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> No, you, you get something out of this block that'll power you up. Mushroom, fire, fire flower, I mean. Try not to run into the fire this time. Dude, I'm gonna punch you. Oh, you got Yoshi. And I got hit. That's okay, Yoshi can help you. Maybe. Run, you son of a bitch! Oh, I bet I know what you gotta do. See those things popping up with the the sewer caps on their heads? Yeah. Kill them. But I'm non-violent. There you go. You got that key you needed. Well, there might be more. I don't think there is. Oh, then. I think you gotta go through that door now. So now you'll have the key to get through that door and the key to get through the next door. Yay! Okay. Hello? Wow. He put the flagpole right up there in front of the door. That's an interesting placement for the flagpole. What the hell is Mario doing with Yoshi? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, you're such a dick. Alright, I get to pick one. Alright. Oh my god. Pick your next level. So yeah. I'd, go, I'd say castle maze. No, I hate <laughs> mazes. Super Sonic Maker. I know you like Sonic. I do. So I guess we should talk about some of the current events right now. Um, it's been a few days since um, Chester Bennington has passed. Um, Jeff and I have been very big Linkin Park fans. I just died. Um, I got to see them when they were on tour, god, almost 12 years ago. They are on tour with Korn and Snoop Dogg and Less Than Jake. And they were just phenomenal. And... You keep running off of a I thought I'd stop. Um, but so... Uh, you call yourself a Sonic fan. Dude, I will go get my Eevee off my bed and beat you with it. But so anyways, um, trying to be mature with the situation. Um, the world has truly lost an exceptional ta talent. You want me to help you make that jump? I will get my Eevee and jam it up your ass. And, um... Yeah, I just uh, got their new album off of iTunes, and I listened to it, like, three times already. And it's really good. It's so sad that... That, that we lost him. not going to have him singing for the band anymore because he's gone. That's like I even as a fan, like I I feel the the disappointment and upset that he's gone because it's it's still a few days later, kind of hard to believe. I didn't but, even believe you when you sent me that message. Yeah, when I heard it on the radio, they're like, "Oh, TMZ is now confirming," and I was like, "Yeah, TMZ. This is probably a hoax." Yeah, it's and true. unfortunately, it's been confirmed by the band. But like, I just think about how. How hard it is the, for a lot of the fans to believe, and just imagine what the what his bandmates, his family, and his friends like. I, I've heard in a few interviews that him and Mike, Mike Shinoda were like brothers to each other, so you can only imagine what what they're going through. So. And the worst part is like, God damn it, um, people, people have been awful. Like, hours after we get the news, somebody hacked his wife's Facebook account. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, someone was saying that uh, she had posted, oh, I, I was cheating on Chester and this and that, and it's, it's a horrible situation to even think of that, and to sit there and to just be that much of a dick? Come on. Um, well, you gotta think that that's just, sadly, a lot, how a lot of people are. I mean, I can remember when, uh, when Robin Williams uh, killed himself, there was a lot of... Uh, Zelda Williams has... His daughter de ended up deactivating her social media accounts because she was getting shit storms from from these people, the internet trolls. That were it was so bad. People were 
were memeing Robin Williams. Yeah, they're still being doing dead. It. There was people posting things like "Hang in there, baby" with the cat replaced with uh, pasting Robin Williams' well, actually, face gonna, over the cat, and that's just terrible. I'm gonna have you read. There's been a troll that I've personally been fighting, and uh, go ahead and read what they had posted originally. Okay. Uh, so this person had posted, for anyone who is quote-unquote mourning Chester from Lincoln Park, you're either willfully ignorant or cultu of cultural appropriation or blatantly racist yourself. I don't think she knows what the hell she's talking about. Do you morons not understand what rapping, that rapping is black culture and rock music was black culture before white people stole it? Like they do everything? By the way, she's white. She watered it down and made it more palatable for housewives and sold it to the racist white teenagers. Um, I played Linkin Park's Giving Up for my mom, who is a housewife. She did not appreciate the song. My mom All Linkin Park did was continue uh, the trend of stealing from people of color and giving them no credit or reputations or reparations. Linkin Park is a white supremacist band. Oh, I, I don't see how that's possible considering they have a Korean and a Japanese person in the band. If you really want to split hairs, Chester Bennington basically did, God damn it, uh, did the basic white guy thing. He sang, yeah. he screamed. Mike Shinoda, the Japanese gentleman, did the rapping. Yep. Mr. Han, the Korean gentleman, was their DJ. This despicable person ends the post by saying she is glad that Chester killed himself and it's the only way he could make up for the damage he did. Uh, first of all... <laughs> Linkin Park might be the most famous band to have combined genres like that, but they're certainly not the first band to have done it. And nor even are they the even the first the band in the rock and roll genre. Take a look at um, the Beastie Boys. They combined rap and rock too. Not not to the extent that Linkin Park did, maybe, but they had their share of rock and roll songs and their more share of rap songs. And they were white people. It's not about race. It's not, And not only that, you should never ever, ever use somebody's death as your personal soapbox to condemn some BS. And the, the thing that I, that I find really ridiculous is I can almost guarantee okay. that she would not say things like that if it was somebody from her own family or somebody that she knew. Or someone, a musician that she liked. The, no, I, it's never okay to say that you're glad somebody killed themselves. No, well... Because that's well, not something that you should encourage. There is actually one person we should always be glad that killed themselves. Hitler. Yes. Um, wow, but, I would never make it through this section. Dude, I'm killing you over this. Um, you hear the uh, Sonic Man, I just suggested it. Um, also, I would like to say, um, for the housewife comment, my mom's not exactly a housewife, but, uh, that concert I mentioned, um, she took me to it, and she was rocking out. <laughs> my mom likes Linkin Park. But, um, I ended up confronting this woman. I think my mom, uh, I, there's only one song of theirs that I've Crawling. shown to her that she actually thought was a good song, and that would be What I've Done. That is because a really they're, good Because they're... I come from a Christian family. I'm Christian. My parents are Christian. And there is undeniably some religious uh, undertones to that song. And even uh, even Chester Bennington had said in the interviews that he was a Protestant, and that's kind of where the general idea to that song had come from. So, I am... Uh, I'm Jewish, but I don't really practice it. I just identify a lot more with that religion. Okay, I did a decent bounce there. Do you want to give up on this level? I'm going to try one more time. It's really hard to not, like, try to rage right now because we're trying to be serious and mature. But, um... Uh, um I was I was actually... They were doing... They were going to be doing their One More Light tour yeah, didn't we want prior to, see to them? this, and they were going to be playing in our state on August 5th. They were going to be playing at a casino, so I was planning on going for that. God damn it! One and more time. Always one more time. Shut up. So, it, like, when this when this was announced, the first way I heard it on it was on the local radio. They had, they had broken in the middle of a song that because like even the local radio stations were big fans of this, and they're like, the the radio DJ she sounded pretty choked up about it because she had uh, mentioned that she was also a big fan of Lincoln Park. It wasn't Crunk, was it? No, it was um. Uh, Gina J. Yeah, Gina J. Oh, you're what's that nice? She was a. Uh, a fan of that because the, when they do the contest she's uh she goes to like they're doing a contest right now where uh you for um 
It's All American Rejects and Dashboard Confessional, and you get to you get entered. You can win a trip to a meet and greet at a beach house with them, and the radio personality gets to be there to, I guess, not only supervise but to interview. So she was really looking forward to that, from what I had heard. Damn it! And uh, but yeah, I was very it's... much looking forward to it. It would have been my first time getting to see them live, but I I hold no anger towards them canceling no. the tour. Like I completely understand why they did it and I and all the fans that there's not many but there are some fans that are upset oh I can't believe they canceled the tour they can just get no they can't no, just they do can. that not such these a are people member. that were very close to Chester they were like I said it was said in a few different from a few different sources that Chester Bennington and Mike Shinoda were like brothers so it's completely understandable that they're gonna need their time to mourn they didn't just lose the singer of the band, that somebody that's replaceable. They lost a friend that they have known for, what's Decade. it, been almost 20 years now. Yeah, like, I first heard them in middle school, so, and I'm about to, uh, about what, week and a half? <coughs> week and a half till my birthday? Mm -hmm. I'm 29, so hearing about them, like, at 12 years old, it's been forever and a day. And they'd been together even before uh, Hybrid Theory, so... Yeah, well, the the most of the band was. Uh, it wasn't uh, until Hybrid Theory that Chester Bennington came in. No, he uh, he before, was before before uh, Hybrid Theory. It was Mike Shinoda and the other guys, and they were under the name uh, the band name Zero X E R O. It was on um, when they decided that they wanted to get somebody that could carry. Come on! Wow, you were almost there. When they decided that they wanted to get somebody that could carry the the vocals of a rock musician. And they auditioned, and they found Chester Bennington. Once they got him into was, the band, that was when they became Linkin Park. And he was originally um, a part of a band called Grey Days. I remember that. I, I did not remember that. I know he has his uh, he had his own solo act, or not solo act, but no, his own was, side project yeah. aside from uh, no, that was Mike Linkin Shinoda. Park that was called Dead by Sunrise. Oh, well, Mike Shinoda had his own little thing, too. But um, this person also, I don't want people who want to help other cultures... Don't get me wrong on this. If you, you know, people who have been stepped on in life and everything, go nuts helping them. But don't be that asshole that's like, no, they they are the voiceless. Because um, this person told me, basically, that no... Because I ended up speaking to her because I was horrified and disgusted. And she ended up telling me that they shouldn't... They had no business even thinking of trying other things... And of course, making sure to throw barbs that they suck. To which I calmly told her, yeah, because you know everything, because you listen to vinyl, uh, for, uh, an indie band's vinyl see, uh, record. Yeah, this person has since had uh, several of their social media accounts suspended, from what you told me. Yes, she, um, she, cause my Facebook picture is uh, Jeff and myself. In cosplay with uh, Alan Tudyk. Tudyk. But, um, I was told that I am a disgrace for cosplaying because I am white. Um, the character okay. I- I'm laughing. Uh, the character I'm cosplaying is Bolin from The Legend of Korra. And his race isn't exactly there spelled is... right out for you, but he's no. white. They- they don't really- it's a whole different world. I don't think they really have races unless you want to count, like, Fire Nation, Earth Nation. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, they're, the different nations in the Legend of Korra and the Avatar series is, are based off of uh, actual uh, nationalities, but, um, such as you can you can argue that the that the um, that the Earth Nation is Chinese. Chinese. They, there's Fire something Na about their uniforms and everything that has a very Chinese look yeah. to it. And the the Fire Nation, they Japanese. have a Japanese look to them. They're they're very like, their costumes are pretty reminiscent of, uh, old-time samurais. And, uh, it's, I mean, the Water Tribe is obviously Native American. They, you Eskimo. can't, you really can't deny Native it. Native American or Eskimo. Yes. But I, I didn't those know those what two, the nomads they, were, though. They don't really give, uh, like, come right out and say, hey, that's what these people are. They're based off of this. Yes, but... They kind of leave it to the, the imagination. But, but I digress. Um, the re... Come on. The reason I bring this up is Avatar The Last Airbender, Legend of Korra, our American-made series. Yup. This person themselves is actually a cosplayer. <laughs> they are a complete and total... Because also, um, I was called a white bitch. 
So if we really want to push the whole minority card, um... So I can't tell if that person was, like, just being, a, like, a next-level troll, trying to get a rise out of people, or I if truly she's hope... legitimately that stupid that she believes what she was saying. I legitimately think so, because also, um, because I am going to end this video with a bit of a PSA, but, um, she, Ooh, there. she told me that, um, a person of color would never kill themselves. That suicide is a is a white only thing, is a cold is a race only thing. I'm gonna end this video saying this. Depression, suicidal thoughts, um any illness where you think you can't handle it. Don't ever think it's wrong because you're black, you're white, you're Hispanic, you're Asian depression and any of those issues can affect you no matter what. It doesn't matter your race, your gender, your creed, your social status. And we beg you, we implore you, if you ever, ever feel like that, please reach out to someone, be it a friend, a family, a pastor, anyone, please. We're begging you, because we don't want to have another person feel what we know Linkin Park is feeling. We don't want someone to go through that kind of tragedy again. You made it. Thank you. That, that's the message oh my I want. No. That's the message I want right now. Anyways, um, we implore you to please seek help. Be it talking to someone, be it calling a helpline. There's always someone to help you. In fact, you can reach out to us on our Facebook pages. I don't, on our YouTube channel. We're here for you. Everyone is here for me, for you. If you ever, ever feel you're that low, always reach out because people love you. So this has been Julie. And Jeff. And we'll see you guys later.